welcome back to my channel it's me snowfall shan whatever you want to call me <laughs> so today i am uploading a video about tips and tricks on how to maintain repair recover your lace frontals your lace closures your lace wigs so i do want to get straight into the video but before we get started, go ahead and thumbs up this video as well as subscribe and turn on those post notifications so that you can be notified when I upload my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate all of the love and support. Enjoy the video. Bye guys. Okay guys, so as you can see, my lace is completely balding along the hairline. So I'm just going to pin it back and let you guys know that you do have a few options. First, you can cut the lace and that's the option I'm going to go with. Secondly, you can use eyeliners. Here I have a pencil eyeliner as well as a liquid eyeliner. I don't really like this option that much because in person, it does not look that um, natural. Next option is to use a smudge brush and eyeliner shadow which is a little more natural than the eyeliner option um, but I just prefer to cut the lace where it's balding I'm just gonna go straight into cutting I do it in very small sections I'm actually not gonna cut away all of this lace so here's the first section I'm just doing two little slits and then I'm cutting across like I said I'm not gonna cut away all of this lace I do want a little bit left so that it looks natural when I'm done customizing it so here's that little small section and I'm just going to speed this up a little bit. I lift up the hair on the sides where that got to be glued is and I just cut away the little section that I want gone because I want to keep that hair. Do not be afraid to cut your lace you guys. Most frontals come in 13 inches by 4, 13 inches by 5. So you have more than enough lace to go ahead and cut away after your lace starts to shed. So this is what it's looking like. It looks already a ton better after I go ahead and cut away at the lace, that excess lace. So now I'm going to flip the hair inside out and I'm going to use LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color Cool Tan. And I am going to go ahead and place that makeup on the other side of the lace just so that it helps me with blending and I don't have to bleach my knots. Spray uh, the lace with some got to be glued blasting freezing spray just to seal the knots and seal that concealer on there And then I go right into doing the baby hairs Now I do use got to be glued um, gel just to lay down the baby hairs I'm not really caking it into the grids of the lace I'm mainly focusing it on the tips of those baby hairs And yes, I do this sometimes on my cloth wig head. It helps so much, you guys. Um, I go ahead and I spray with blasting freezing spray just to make sure they lay down. And I let it dry on the cloth wig head overnight this way. So I'm going to go ahead and put the wig on. I'm just checking the baby hairs to see what it looks like. And I'm going to continue to customize. I'm going to lay down the wig with some blasting freezing spray and I am going to blow dry that dry. When you go ahead and you cut away at the lace, you're pulling, essentially you're pulling your wig forward. So you might have to recut some side tabs. I actually did not include this, but I also took out one small track on the top of this wig connecting the lace frontal to the tracks because I wanted it to look more natural and lay flat. I'm going to take some LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color Fawn and place it in my middle parts. And then I'm taking uh, one of the lighter shades from the NYX Pro Conceal palette. Then I go in and I wet the hair just to make it look more natural. And I place some of my favorite mousse on top once again, just to lay it down. So 
you guys this is the video it did take me um a while to film this video because i've just been so busy but i did just want to give you guys some tips and tricks on how to maintain repair restore your frontal unit especially if you get a stylist to install your lace frontal wigs i know it might be a little hard to maintain it yourself but that's why I made this video for you guys. It's relatively easy as long as you, you know, you're not afraid to go ahead and cut away, pluck, and, you know, repair your own frontal. But just to sum it up, there are certain things that you can do to damage your frontal. Lace frontals naturally shed. Lace closures. Lace naturally sheds. But if you do things to damage those knots on that lace it will cause the front to shed and even bald a lot faster so try to avoid things like over bleaching your knots if you can avoid bleaching your knots altogether i highly recommend that um because what bleaching the knots does to the lace and the um the actual knots is it weakens those knots so your frontals and your closures and your wigs are going to shed way faster if you just stop that one thing or uh, reduce the time that you have the bleach on those knots you're gonna see a huge improvement um, if you pluck too much you are essentially damaging your lace frontals and your lace wigs and that's because every time you pluck you're not always pulling out the hair um, so sometimes you're tugging at the hair and at those knots but you're not pulling at them and I know a lot of us have a tendency to over pluck so try to avoid that be careful the way you wash your wigs if you guys would like a video on how I wash my wigs so that I'm not damaging my knots on my lace then give this video a thumbs up and I will go ahead and upload that video for you guys the way you store your wigs can damage your lace so I have a cloth wig head I bought it off of Amazon and I will go ahead and put the link in the description from the Amazon store I bought it from try to be as gentle as you can with your lace unit when my wigs are not on my cloth wig head because I have many wigs I actually store them on hangers and I store them upside down I clip them and I put them somewhere where they're not going to be damaged um, hangers like this literally I have multiple with different wigs on the clips I'll put two um, wigs per hanger so I'm really careful on how I store my wigs be careful with what you put on your lace and those knots today I did use this got to be glued this is part of the reason why I say your wigs are going to shed naturally sorry this is why I say your wigs are going to shed naturally our own hair sheds naturally but when you put things that contain alcohol on your wigs and on your knots yes it seals in your knots however by the time that you you know you wash your hair it's going to shed naturally so if you're putting a ton of um, products that contain alcohol which unfortunately most products do contain alcohol um, most hair products uh, like hairsprays foam got to be glued I know a lot of their products contain alcohol that's actually part of the reason why I stopped using this so much because it gets stuck in the those grids of the lace there is a really good way to clean got to be glued gel out of your frontals but as you're cleaning it you know you're damaging your lace even more that's just to sum it up I do hope you guys enjoyed this video I am sweating right now it's hot I have on this jacket <laughs> don't forget to like subscribe and turn on my post notifications so that you can be notified when I upload my next video which will be very soon thank you guys so much for watching bye guys